Right. What we have here on the table, glowing blue, is an ultraviolet lamp, which is um, producing uh, ultraviolet light, which is causing ionization in the perspex. So we're not here seeing charged particles and their ionization, we're seeing the ionization produced by the ultraviolet lamp. But the physics is exactly the same. What do we see here? The ultraviolet rays from the lamp are being um, absorbed in the scintillator. You see this, this square glowing blue. This is the ultraviolet light producing ions which recombine to give visible light. Then there's uh, above it, if you see my finger, above it, uh, the above attached to glued to the scintillator is perspex. And the perspex channels, channels the light out. If I move my, the, the um, light guide around, one can see the light emerging, the blue light emerging, just like um, light travels down an optical fibre. And what uh, we do now is we have to detect this, this uh, flash of light, because remember what happens? We don't have the ultraviolet lamp in the, our detector. We have charged particles pass through the scintillator, give a flash of light. The flash of light passes through the light guide. And then how is that detected? It's detected by a photomultiply tube. And here, perhaps if um, we put on the lights, we can see this. Here, this is a, a photomultiply tube, a heavy object encased in a, an iron shell. If we just take the iron shell off, oops, we can see inside is the photomultiplier tube. And how this works is we apply a high voltage just from one cable here and this high voltage produces a set of voltages on dynodes in this device, on, on, uh, on little metal stages. But what happens is when the light hits this, um, me this uh, metallized glass by the photoelectric effect the light, the photons, produce electrons. So what we have then holding it all together is the photomultiplier tube connected to the perspex and we then have, looking at the whole thing, perhaps if we turn the lights off now, we see the, the um, charged particle produces a flash of light in the scintillator, the light gets channeled along the light guide into the photomultiplier tube and out comes then an electrical signal. And this electrical signal is what we've used to trigger the spark chamber as we described upstairs.